Remember those little green men from your childhood? No, not those little green men. These little green men. The dawn of the new millennium brought forth some very interesting video games. One of the more unique was that of the Army Men series, a collection of games where the green and tan armies go head to head in order to restore peace and tranquility to the miniature world they reside in. The late 90s and early 2000s saw a plethora of titles released involving Sarge and all of our other favorite small soldiers. But recently the series has been all but absent from all gaming conversations and hasn't really seen a console installment in over 10 years. So in less than 10 minutes, let's talk about what happened to the Army Men franchise. Army Men Surge's Heroes, Army Men Green Rogue, Army Men Toys in Space, Army Men RTS. The Army Men franchise saw a staggering release of 24 titles over the span of 10 years which is kind of a lot, and found a small place in the hearts of gamers across the world with its cheeky, larger-than-life style of third-person shooting. Possibly the most famous of the game was Army Men Sarge's Heroes, a game focused on Sarge rescuing his fellow comrades in an attempt to thwart the evil General Plastro's plans of destruction to the entire Green Army. Other games in the series featured top-down shooting, real-time strategy, and even a mobile release. So the real question is, what happened to the little green soldiers? If anyone is familiar with 3DO as a company, it's common knowledge that their business profits were significantly hindered by their massive flop of a console in 1993. Turns out it's a bit hard to sell people on something that's three times more expensive than the Genesis or Super Nintendo. I mean, it's the price of two PlayStation 4 Pros in today's market. That's ridiculous. That wasn't all though. After the founding technology company sold the rights of the console to Panasonic, 3DO sidestepped in order to take a different role in the gaming market, third-party development. One of 3DO's first releases was actually Army Men, originally put out on the Game Boy Color and PC. Other noteworthy titles by 3DO were Battle Tanks and Crusaders of Might and Magic, and well, that's, uh, that's uh, pretty much it. If you didn't guess by now, 3DO didn't necessarily have the best sales with their games either. Their entire company was hinging on the success of the Army Man series. With titles being pumped out left and right year after year after year, they developed what would be later called Activision Syndrome. Creativity was lacking, when with each game getting more and more dull and trite. Eventually, 3DO became defunct as a company and filed Chapter 11 bankruptcy in 2003, just 10 years after that 3DO console came out. It was the end of an era crappy overpriced era, but it was an era no less. But we didn't see the last of the Army Men franchise. We probably should have, but we didn't. Amidst the bankruptcy condition of 3DO, there were some potential suitors for the series, and most notably Global Star Software, who eventually bought the franchise at auction. Who is Global Star Software, you ask? Well, have you heard of a kind of obscure developer named 2K? Yeah, I thought so. Although the series was gobbled up by more prestigious developer, it did little to nothing in order to salvage it from the ruins of awful games. Global Star Software attempted to capitalize on a fresh game by pumping out a number of subpar Army Men titles, including Sarge's War and the forgettable Major Malfunction in 2006, with some reviewers noting the game's horrendous controls and camera angles. These titles were absolute flops and completely dimmed whatever light the series had left and the developer decided to shelve the franchise entirely. Ultimately, Army Men got a mobile release in 2008, developed by indie company Twistbox. Spoiler alert! This game sucked too, and the franchise breathed its last dying breath. It's sad seeing a portion of your childhood go down in flames, but the fact of the matter is, the series had no more spark left. There was a fan game, entitled Army Men 3 to be released sometime in 2013, but no more console installments ever existed. Like many franchises before it, Army Men is laid out to pasture, with no sign of a return. Will anyone ever pick it up for a reboot? Will any gaming developer take such a risk? Only time will tell, but I do know that anything is possible, and us nostalgic fanboys will continue to wait with bated breath until such a thing happens. Is there a gaming franchise that disappeared in your life? Do you want some answers? Leave me a comment below of another franchise you'd like me to explore in this What Happened series. 
Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell for more updates from me here at the Mega Man Cave. Catch you later.